Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question which says prove that if A is the arithmetic mean, G is the geometric mean and H is the harmonic mean for any two real positive quantities then first A multiplied by H is equal to G square second A greater than equal to G is greater than equal to H. If we have a and B, any two positive quantities, then the arithmetic mean denoted by say A would be equal to A plus B upon 2 then the geometric mean denoted by G is equal to square root of AB and the harmonic mean denoted by H would be equal to 2AB upon A plus B. Now let's see how do we get this harmonic mean H as 2AB upon A plus B. Suppose we have A capital H and B, B in HP that is harmonic progression. So this means this H would be the harmonic mean between A and B. Now as A, H and B are in HP, so this means 1 upon A, 1 upon H, 1 upon B would be in AP and this would be the arithmetic mean between 1 upon A and 1 upon B. So 1 upon H would be equal to 1 upon A plus 1 upon B and this 1 upon 2 which would be equal to A plus B upon AB and this will upon 2. That is A plus B upon 2AB. So from here we can say that H is equal to 2AB upon A plus B. And this H as you know is the harmonic mean between A and B. So this is how we get the harmonic mean H equal to 2AB upon A plus B. This is the key idea that we use in this question. Let's now move on to the solution. Now in the question we have that A is the arithmetic mean, G is the geometric mean and H is the harmonic mean for any two positive real quantities. First of all, we suppose let x and y be any two real positive quantities. Then, as we are given that this A is the arithmetic mean, so a, that is arithmetic mean between x and y would be given by x plus y upon 2. Then g, which is the geometric mean, would be given by square root of xy and h, which is the harmonic mean, would be given by 2xy upon x plus y. Now in the first part, We are supposed to prove that A multiplied by H is equal to G square. So now consider A multiplied by H. This is equal to X plus Y upon 2 multiplied by 2XY upon X plus Y. Now x plus y, x plus y cancels, 2 cancels with 2 and so this is equal to xy. 
That is, we have a multiplied by h is equal to x y. Now, as you know that g is equal to square root of x y, so this would mean that g square is equal to x y. So, then in place of x y, we can write g square. Therefore, we get a multiplied by h is equal to g square. And this is what we were supposed to prove. So, hence proved the first part of the question. Now, next we are supposed to prove that a greater than or equal to g is greater than or equal to h. So, first of all, consider a minus g. This would be equal to, now as we know, that a is x plus y upon 2 and g is square root of xy. So, we have a minus g is equal to x plus y upon 2 minus square root of xy. This means that a minus g is equal to x plus y minus 2 into square root xy. And this whole upon 2. And we can write this x plus y minus 2 into square root xy as square root x minus square root y the whole square and this whole upon 2. And this is obviously greater than 0. That is it is positive. That means we have a minus g greater than 0. Or you can say that A is greater than G. Now when we take the two quantities X and Y to be equal. That is when we have X is equal to Y. This means that A minus G would be equal to 0. Or you can say that A would be equal to G. So now A greater than G and A equal to G when X is equal to Y. Combining these two. We can say that A is greater than or equal to G and the equality holds when X is equal to Y. Now, since we have that A multiplied by H is equal to G square, this means that A multiplied by H is equal to G multiplied by G and we also have that A is greater than or equal to G. Therefore, we can say that H would be less than or equal to G or G is greater than or equal to H. And thus, on combining these two, we can say that A is greater than or equal to G and G is greater than or equal to H. And the equality holds when we have x is equal to y. And this is what we were supposed to prove. So, we have hence proved. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution of this question.